All right, hello. I'm back with this SATA square. Okay, I'm going to do another little decode on it. Um, apologies if I'm regurgitating something that Zenith of the Alpha has already done. Um, I'm not sure whether he's got this one or not. Um, and so, anyway, I'll link here his channel um, and William Sullivan, who's done some work with him on this thing. Um, and you can go check out some of their stuff. And of course, they've got a lot more stuff on this and magic squares and all kinds of stuff. Great, great stuff on those channels. Um, but so I'll link them. And and again, I apologize if I'm just regurgitating something that's already been done. But, you know, we are, you know, I'm just I'm just showing you what I'm seeing. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to crack on with this. There was something bothering me about this um, this square, and it was the fact that I wasn't getting an, um, a one 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 uh, reference from it, a very good one 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 reference from it. Um, and of course, you know, you can here's you can make the eleven here, and you could rotate this bar right here, and you could rotate that bar so that it was straight up and down. And you get your one one one. I mean, there are three bars there after all. So um, you got the triple bar with the N if you wanted. Um, but when I was looking at that, I'm like, hmm. You could also just say that is one divided by one, and that would equal one. Okay. And it's interesting with this one divided by one is also like a date as well. The first of the first, the first day of January. Uh, the beginning of a new cycle, uh, which I thought was interesting because we have the 10 um, would represent the kind of the end of the cycle. And of course, the beginning of the next cycle, you know, there's a there's a cusp there where it switches over. Um, and so it's interesting that we have, you know, with the 10 in here and, you know, maybe this is a another reference here to the start of a new cycle one one uh one divided by one equals one so i got my my um triple one reference um but it doesn't finish there because you can also if you when you take this backwards um n thing going on okay you can also uh rotate and kind of invert this thing back on itself and you'll end up with this which again this sort of um, hourglass symbolism uh, which in fact I just had a comment with journeyman he mentioned this hourglass symbolism as well um, but this is a slightly different context here um, what we've got is we've basically got one um, times one here okay I mean I know we've got the we've got the two arrows pointing against each other and all that stuff as well like Adam and Eve the A of Adam and the V of Eve and all this stuff um, but we got a one times one or you could do Roman numerals there I'm sure Alpha has that one um, and you could do that for nine and then you invert it you know you twisted it around again and there's your 11 um you know if you just read to the center and then read back out from the center sort of thing as we're doing kind of with tenet here as well so i mean interesting stuff let me get rid of some of this so we don't get too complicated up here but this is basically what i'm getting here is a one times one also when we flip that thing back around on itself uh one times one equals hopefully everybody passed maths one all right so we got the triple one reference again and it's kind of interesting because when we have it like this okay one divided by one well that's what actually happened at 9 11 okay because what we actually had was the removal of the twin towers and the, the two twin towers represent Okay, that 11, the two twin towers, one of them was Christ, okay, and one of them had a, an O on the top as well, and one had a, um, a cross on the top. 
One was Christ, one was the divine physical, and the other was the divine, the Holy Spirit, the divine uh, feminine, okay, uh, Mary, okay, and that's why we've got that symbolism at the top of the Twin Towers, okay, the, the cross and the blue and white circle type thing going, uh, observation deck or whatever the hell it was, okay. So those two things together um, represent uh, the big N, you know, nature. Um, when nature is perfectly balanced, those two things are perfectly balanced. And they would be sitting there now if we were still perfectly balanced. But that's the metaphor is that was removed. And that removal of that, you know, getting rid of that, crossing through it, striking through that thing, which is what happened here, was basically one thing, which was nature or God or whatever, that one thing being divided by another one thing. And the other one thing is was the 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 unholy um, matrix. Our own creation, man's creation, is what destroyed uh, nature is what destroyed God you know this is Satan here and this is God over here and that was um, divided by uh, was divided by Satan essentially and the, the re you know the symbolism is all the same because it's basically <laughs> you know if you can figure this stuff out you know when we were born into the world we were perfect we were we were that big N, you know, we were nature, you know, and then we become of the world, you know, we become incorporated into the, the matrix and all of a sudden now we are the one, it's exactly the same one that started off in the world, we have now divided that thing, okay, and we are now controlling that thing, that puts us in control, that one that's in control is basically the entanglement of nature we're, we're the bindweed growing up the um the corn stalk if you like of nature and to begin with it was okay you know um there was a symbiosis there but what happened was the more and more we push um our reality the more we get out of control the more out of balance we are the more we're spiraling out to the the fringe of um, balance and of course you know when that happens um, we've now we've now bound nature to our way of life which is what's gone on with that's why we have the one world trade center which is like bind we going up like entanglement there okay what we need to do is on our journey that we're on now to try and get back home home is God, um, we need to cross that thing, well, we need to cross the matrix, we need to cross Oz, as Dorothy did, and when we cross it, okay, when we recross, so when we go against it, because we're going to cross, we're going to cross the matrix now, we're going to go against matrix, um, and that's what that's going to do, is going to bring back balance to our world, okay, and again, the cross represents balance. So when we recross the matrix now as the one, we make that journey, uh, we become that one. We become this one right here, okay? And that is Neo, yeah? The N for Neo, the one, okay? The one, the, the big N again, okay? We've become nature again. Um, Boy, what else do I want to say about this? Yeah, and again, with the 10, that marks the beginning and the end. You know, 1 is the beginning, and when we get to 0 again, that's the end. And those two things together is the beginning and the end, yeah? 10. Um, and this is, you know, the physical, which is 1, the phallus symbol, and the O, the vesica Pisces both standing to get both together okay both um, not intertwined anymore you know we haven't got one inside the other okay this is 
balance. And of course, we've got it written here with 10. OK, um, but that's what we need to do. We've got to rotate our upside down reality. Our back, our backwards reality needs to be rotated. And of course, Alpha does a lot of uh, stuff with the rotation. But it says right here, rotate, you know, ro rotor. OK, and we need to, that's the way we're operating the system. We need to rotate our operation. OK. That needs to be rotated, our operation. OK, so that we can repossess, you know, we can repossess our, um, you know, our ownership of that thing, our tenant, <laughs> tenant, our status, you could almost get status. I kind of get status there with that a little bit. Uh, I'd have to put a, an extra T and change that to a. But you know, you can change some of these without too much. You know, me being, uh, I I call myself partially dyslexic. Um, <laughs> I I often read words that aren't right. You know, I'm like that. You know, somebody I read something to somebody and be like, that's not what that said, Dan. Uh, okay, you know. So you know, of course, I'm spotting stuff that other people might not spot as easily i don't know um i'm sure there's a number of you out there that have already spotted all these kind of ideas here but um but that's basically what's got to go on you know and we end up with this big scribbly mess at the end of it all um i don't know what i've forgotten to put in there but i just thought i was interested that we could get that 111 um and yeah i'm trying to think i must i Probably forgotten something but I didn't want it to be too long um, I'm gonna leave it there I mean obviously obviously there's tons more meaning to a lot of this stuff but you know this uh, this Z as well is you know this is what we've got to cross we've got to cross Oz you know and then we're going to end up with the number eight of man you know we're gonna become men again okay that goes for men and women <laughs> we are going to become true um true to the idea of mankind again okay um i'm gonna leave it there otherwise i'll just end up waffling on a bunch more nonsense and it won't make uh, much more sense anyway so all right i'll uh i'll catch you on the next one all right cheers bye